Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to the 13th edition of Epic Rift Luck Pools, unless you get some crazy legendary crystal luck, which we featured. But other than that, it's the Epic Rifts, and I get, you know, some people, this series is not for them. But really, this series is only for the people who like to have a reason to submit things, right? This is, uh, to me, it's not about clicks, it's about community. That's why I do YouTube. And giving people a shout out and maybe they finally got the five star awakening gym they've been saving for the chronometer for or maybe they just got really lucky or maybe they got really unlucky uh it's just it gives you a chance to get excited to contact me to play the game and i get to promote the game because lord knows the offers lately outside of the daily cavalier crystal have not given me any reasons to promote the game so we have a five star featured crystal for Saman. Nova popped out. Congratulations, my friend. Zeus Gaming got himself a tech gem from the Rift. Dog got himself a featured crystal. And that turned into a Mojo, the kind of guy you never want to crawl out of your bathtub. Dog also got a tech gem and awakened his ghost. Might be Sig 10, level 10, but she is now 565. And then we have, uh-oh... Look at the emoji in the circles for Mick Yeezus Atomic. And that is going straight to his Medusa. That's exciting. That's exciting. Look at that roster. Medusa could use to be awakened. Jimbo Slice 315. Six star Corvus. I threw this in because this was a regular Cavalier Crystal. Pretty exciting. Not a whale. He wants to make that very clear with his name. Got a skill, Jim. And used it to awaken. His Aegon, heck yeah. Scott Block, my man, 10,000 five-star shards. And he duped his gambit. But hey, he got to open a six-star from it. Bustero, tier two alpha. MHK with the tech gem. Triple U with a featured crystal. Alex, 10,000 five-star shards. And he got an agent venom. Shadox with that cosmic gem. Guru Jose with the tier two alpha. Cameron 2513, 10,000 five star shards. And how about that? Got himself a blade for the first time with that rift. Madman Marco got the tech gem and he awakened his warlock. That insane gamer, 10,000 five star shards. Shootout 95, tier two alpha. Bobby gets nothing but buckets, five star featured crystal. And he got a uh, red skull from that. Lord Mbaku, five-star tech. Blakey Jr., cosmic gem. Aaron756, got that mutant gem. How about Gamer T with the five-star featured? Landed on a trophy champ known as Doctor Strange. Savia, 1,000 six-star shards. 10,000 five-star shards turned into a dark hawk for Manish. Ever 72 with the 10,000 five star shards. Got that iron package. Yuck. Nick Fury, 1,000 six star shards. And he got a six star Gladiator Hulk. How about them apples? And then a five star feature crystal for Starlight One. Getting his hands on a Punisher 2099. My man Darren, five star featured crystal. Darren got another 26 on his Magneto. Yay! Boo. At least you got some six-star shards out of it, right? Brutal Z, 10,000 five-star shards. He's had crazy luck in these rifts. And got another dupe of his Mordo. Whatevs. Dim Boys, five-star featured crystal. And that got him a dupe of inferior Iron Man. Zerosity, mutant gym. And how about that? Right after, he opened Omega Red. What a freaking weekend for that guy. 10,000 five-star shards, almost enough for two crystals for him. Also got a Omega Red for Noob Master. You Confused, Dobby X. Got that five-star Cosmic Gem. God Slayer with a uh, really, really clutch Mystic Gem. Now he just needs Doctor Doom, right? Ha <laughs> you ask and you shall receive. G-I-O-D-O-O-O-D. Gia Dude also got a Mystic Gem. Now he just needs that Doctor Doom. But he also, he got a Mystic, he got a Cosmic, and 10,000 five-star shards. 
Unitas187. It is just raining in the end of this video. The five-star mystic gem. And there you have it. We have come to the end. I like to keep these videos as short as possible, even though we got over 60 uh, shout-outs in about five minutes. Congrats to everybody who made it in. We've got a few more opportunities to do compilations before the end of the month. It's been kind of a unique, at times I get tedious series on my channel, but it's given a lot of people shout-outs and reasons to play the game, and that is why I do this as a side hobby. It's not about the clicks, it's about the community. Thanks for watching, YouTube.